Okay, class, today's lesson, momentum. Now, one thing about momentum is it is mass in motion. Right here, I'm on my trusty boat of momentum. Now, let me tell you something about this boat. Right now, it does not have any momentum. And you know why? Because it's not in motion, but it does have mass. And that's the thing about momentum. Anything with mass set in motion has momentum. Take this here paint jar, for example. Now, while it was in the air, it had momentum. For example, our trusty, dusty, handy dandy TV circuit board. Well, it doesn't have momentum anymore, but when it was in the air, it did. Thank you. To find momentum using an equation, you're gonna wanna know the mass explain before I was so rudely interrupted by that train is that to find momentum using whatever numbers you have whether it may be 7, 6, 17 you got to know what those numbers mean for example mass and velocity that's really all you need I'll show you in a bit oh hey didn't see there we're gonna talk about momentum today and to explain momentum, I'm going to talk about trains. Why trains? Because trains have a lot of mass and a lot of velocity. And that's the recipe for great momentum. Now, I'm going to use this here model train and not a real train because I don't believe it would be a pleasant experience to sit on these tracks as a real train goes by. So say, for theoretically, this model train has a mass of 7 kilograms and it's moving at a velocity of seven meters per second. What we would have to do is multiply that mass by that velocity and you'd get its momentum of 14 newton meters. What is a newton? A newton is the unit of force it takes to accelerate one kilogram one meter per second per second. Now you know how to find the momentum of basically anything Go out and do it. Be inspired to find